Also, the chairman of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, Professor Paul Kingsley Buabashua, has called for a clearer definition of the contingency fund captured under the amended Petroleum Revenue Management Act to avert oil money being used to fund almost every contingency need. Now, Professor Buabashua explains that any attempt to use the contingency fund for purposes for which it was not meant will not make the needed impact. Government's attempt to ensure proper utilization of petroleum revenues led to the amendment of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act in 2015, which has now created a contingency fund. The contingency fund is expected to fund contingency situations, but its open utilization by the Act is what the Chairman of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, Professor Paul Kinsley Boa Basua, thinks could be wasteful and must be clearly defined and refocused. The oil money has no boundaries. It's being used for any intervention. And I think that is where we have to get a good law to qualify in times of emergency and need. Otherwise, if you use oil money for everything, we cannot achieve our aim. So what I think it should be is, if contingency fund, it should be well defined whether on a national scale or on a specific problems that come in line with oil and gas activities. Like the government looked on the Maritime Tribunal for GMPC to pay. It should come from the contingency fund, not from GMPC votes. And that is what I find it a little bit odd. The advocacy and communication coordinator for the Friends of the Nation, Solomon Kusi Ampofo, who has been leading the NGO sensitization within the six coastal district of the Western region, believes the contingency fund could better be used to support fishermen in times of crisis. The contingency fund is a laudable idea that has, that has been established under the amended uh, act. Uh, however, my recommendation is that it should be well targeted for oil related um, accidents or disasters or anything that will happen as a result of the oil and gas industry. So, for example, if there is a major oil spill, we can fall on this contingency fund to provide relief services or to compensate for the fishermen or the coastal communities who will be affected and also to provide rapid response to mitigate the impact of this. Um, or the aspect that might happen. Meanwhile, the Friends of the Nation, a social environmental civil society with support from Oxfam, has educated major stakeholders in the Western region on the Public Interest and Accountability Committee's function and reports, especially the PIAC's 2014 report to track oil money. It became clear that the Western region between 2013 and 2014 benefited 20% of all petroleum revenue projects, but most are pending completion. Kwesi Ejei Enim, Vasatwa News. Talk Radio.